Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to Siyasat English News. I am Ahmed Umar. The Secretary of Telangana State Board of Intermediate Education, Sayyid Umar Jalil, has said that Telangana intermediate results will be announced next week. He also said that intermediate second year classes will commence from 1st of July, whereas the intermediate first year classes will begin on 15th of July. The Board of Intermediate Education has instructed the lecturers of the government junior colleges to report to their duties this week. The board secretary informed that the online classes will be made available through TSAT and Doordarshan. In order to ensure COVID-19 pandemic protocols are adhered at the airport for the safety of passengers and staff working, GMR Hyderabad International Airport Limited has introduced a smart queue system to reduce waiting time at passengers touch point. GHIAL has collaborated with technology partner Allgo Vision Technologies in this implementation. This smart queue management solution uses advanced camera based video analytics which helps the GMR Hyderabad International Airport staff to constantly monitor various key parameters such as peak passenger waiting time and take corrective actions as needed which are very essential for the safety of both passengers and airport staff in these pandemic times. Bharat Biotech dispatched its COVID-19 vaccine Covaxin to 9 states through the government of India and to 16 states through the respective state governments. Company's co-founder and joint managing director Suchitra Ela on Wednesday tweeted that Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Delhi, Gujarat, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Telangana were supplied the vaccines through government of India from 8 to 14th of June. She also tweeted that vaccine doses were also dispatched to private hospitals in 27 cities across the country from 8 to the 14th of June. These include Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Bangalore and Hyderabad. A total of 7 cities in Telangana and Andhra were dispatched the vaccine under this category. She however has not provided details like the number of doses dispatched under the three categories. The Delhi government will train and hire 5000 community nursing assistants in the coming weeks as it readies for a possible third wave. The nursing assistants will be deployed in hospitals and other healthcare facilities to support the existing staff there including the doctors. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said the application process will begin from 17th of June and the training of those selected will start by the end of this month. The government has roped in IP University for the task. Arvind Kejriwal said that the third wave had already hit the United Kingdom and India should be prepared too. Jammu and Kashmir Chief Secretary has directed the officials to ensure tap drinking water to every household by September 2022. Chief Secretary Dr. Arun Kumar Mehta chaired a meeting to review the progress achieved under the centrally sponsored scheme Jal Jeevan Mission in the Union Territory. The chief secretary directed the department to provide all schools and anganwadi centers with functional water connections within a month besides completing the phases second and third of jal jeevan mission by september 30 2022 he further asked the department to initiate the process of tendering for works under subsequent phases to ensure adherence to project timelines further the chief secretary directed that school sanitation program be initiated in consultation with the school education department Superstar Amir Khan shared that he would be honored to play the lead role in the much anticipated biopic on the Indian chess grandmaster Vishwanathan Anand which is currently in the works and will be jointly produced by Anand L Rai and Mahavir Jain. Amir and Vishwanathan Anand recently came together for an online event to play chess and raise funds for members of the chess community affected by COVID-19. Their exciting game and conversation traversed various topics of interest that kept the audience glued. The conversation soon drifted to the much anticipated biopic on the Indian grandmaster which is currently in the works and will be jointly produced by Anand L Rai's Color Yellow Productions and Mahavir Jain's Sundial Entertainment. The Kingdom of Oman on Tuesday registered 3 cases of the newly spread black fungus among people infected with COVID-19 virus. as the spike in covid-19 cases continues Oman Ministry of Health announced through its official account on the Twitter website that it had recorded 3 confirmed cases of the black fungus The ministry called on all citizens and residents in the country to fully adhere to the measures to prevent covid-19 especially wearing a mask 
physical distancing, hand hygiene, and avoid gatherings. A 5.8 magnitude earthquake under the sea shook part of eastern Indonesia on Wednesday, and residents on the beachfront in part of Maluku province were told to go to higher ground. Indonesia's Meteorology and Climatology Agency said people along Japuti and Apio beaches in central Maluku district should immediately leave the beach area and should be beware of aftershocks and potential tsunamis due to the undersea landslides. The U.S. Geological Survey said the earthquake was centered about 10 kilometers under the sea 70 kilometers from Hamai city on Siram Island in Maluku province. The Board of Control for Cricket in India has won a legal battle against Deccan Chronicle Holdings Limited as the Bombay High Court has decided in favor of the Indian Cricket Board. Speaking to ANI, a BCCI official in the Know of Development said it was a welcome decision. To go back to the case, the IPL Governing Council had terminated the Deccan charges in 2012 and the franchise had challenged the termination. They had approached the Bombay High Court and the process of arbitration started with Justice retired C.K. Thakur as the sole arbitrator and the BCCI was ordered to shell out 4,800 crore rupees to Deccan Chronicle Holding Limited in July 2020. This after the Deccan Chronicle Holding Limited had claimed damages of 6,046 crore rupees plus interest and charges as per the reports. That's it for today. Thank you viewers.